yeah, that's fine. Hey everyone, um, thanks for following our progress with the album and the recording. Today we've got an interview, a small interview with Henry, who's playing bass on the recording, and Moog as well, let's not forget the Moog. Um, for those people who don't know what a Moog is, what's a Moog? It's a bass synthesizer. Ah, very all, good. All analog, which means it's super warm, mm -hmm. really fat and round. It's beautiful. It sounds amazing, we've used a lot of it on this recording. Anyway, Henry, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do. Uh, I'm Henry. I live in Brighton with my wife and small baby on the south coast. I'm a bass player, keys, keys player, uh, run a tiny, tiny record label and do a bit of producing as well. That's great. And you've played bass really well on this. I've oh. really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, but yeah, tell us a little bit about your little label. Uh, it's called Bespoke Records. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a music publishing company and also record label services. Uh, and the vision is to try and really empower artists, honour them, respect them, love them. And then also just to make absolutely killer music, you know, really good art. Could be Christian, could be not Christian, but just to deal with people really, really well and then really champion their creative product for them. That's so exciting. That's the vision. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure it's going to go really well for you. I hope as well. so. <laughs> um, so we're up here in Glasgow again recording at Glowworm Studios. And so the last two days we've put down a lot of bass tracks. You've been playing loads. Um, <laughs> have you got any favourite songs? Uh, Love Born to Be Brave. That was really fun to record. Uh, we did Father Father this morning, which is a really special track, so that was amazing to kind of have that moment. Um, I mean, everyone in a way has been really special and really fun, and it's been amazing to work with people who really enjoy what they do and really want to bring the best to everything, so that's mm. been really fun. Oh, that's great. And, um, and what do you try and do when you're, you're playing bass in a session? What's your kind of approach to coming in to a project? How do you, how do you handle that when you don't know the people that you're working <laughs> with like, this time? Try and not like annoy anyone. <laughs> um, always try and like serve the song as best as possible uh -huh. so just listen through and then make sure that whatever I'm doing is the best thing for the song right um, and if that could be something really simple could be not playing at all or it could be something absolutely crazy we're just trying to give as many ideas and things as possible or just yeah. say like oh what about this crazy idea what about yeah. this crazy idea and then you know the artist and the producer can say oh no that's a bit too much or oh, let's rein it in or yeah brilliant let's go with yeah. that so just throwing out ideas as much as possible that's great really really great and you did loads of that yesterday <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, oh what about this what about this <laughs> hey i've got this idea i've got this amazing idea um so last last question you're um heading home now yep and you're off to go on tour for a couple of weeks is that right yeah off on tour playing keys for jesus culture for the next fortnight or so it should be really fun looking forward to that and then yeah i don't know after that <laughs> just see what happens yeah <laughs> that's so good thanks so much for coming amazing really appreciate it and we'll see you soon thanks for having me